Hey guys, so once a quarter, I take a day and I do what I call a personal council. Last quarter I, I did a, a council up in the mountains. I kind of took a break from the regular life and went up into the mountains. Today, my personal council is a little bit different. I'm gonna be in Denver. Basically what I do on a personal council is go through my goals, see what I've achieved so far this quarter, set new goals, reevaluate goals, and just take some time to think about my responsibilities and all that. I gotta get some breakfast and I gotta find a place to meditate. Check out this mural. I love city murals. The city is one of my favorite places to be. I found the corner bakery here and it's it's boarded up but it's open. I grabbed some breakfast. I've finished it now and I'm listening to Positivity by Phil Helmuth and it's a it's a pretty good book. It has some good exercises, uh, good goal setting questions that I wanted to talk about, so I will record them in my journal. All right, I just got done setting my goals and it started to rain. I'm gonna scoot her down. I wanna go say hi to the people at uh, Ratio Clothing. All right, so I'm here at uh, Ratio Clothing. I made it on, on the bird scooter. And just getting to know Eric here a little bit. So Eric is your uh, owner, founder, founder. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. nice. So we've been around for about 10 years. We make it very easy to get custom shirts made. So once you sign up on our website or you get fitted here in the store, uh, ordering a custom shirt's about as easy as ordering anything as you would from Amazon or Jacob or anywhere else. You get to pick all the details like the collars and cuffs. Uh, it's of course perfectly fitted to you every time. Eric, would you mind kind of walking us through sure. like what, what we can learn about collars? The big thing about a collar is, is choosing something, one, that's proportional to your face. If you have a narrow face, you would want something with a wider spread. If you have kind of a rounder face, you want something with a narrower spread. Um, but it's also about functionality. So a lot of customers may prefer something with, say, buttons to keep collar points from flying away. And then also just different shapes and sizes that accentuate, you know, your build. And what's, it's, of course, made to your size. There are digital shirts are cut on demand exactly to your size so you have kind of a unique pattern that's unique to you uh, when the shirts are made. Cuffs tend to be more about personal preference than anything. Customers would choose pockets, uh, different front styles, really kind of everything you can imagine. We have a lot of customers that wear this. Cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully you learned something there. I know I did. Um, I'll have to make it back down here to ratio sometime soon and maybe dig in a little bit to some of these patterns, check them out, uh, ratio clothing. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. My next stop on my personal council is to do some meditation. And the best way to meditate is to do a float. So you basically are weightless in this Epsom salt float. The water's body temperature and you just lay there without senses. See, Samana Float Center. You come in, you shower, and then they have this basically isolation tank. You know, I just enjoy isolating myself and meditating and thinking about the goals I just set and, and the blessings that I have. That great conversation with Eric, I'm super glad I met him. He was super cool after. He told me he's into development, that's I am as well. My other company is uh, Wink Web Development. It's kind of funny, we're both into formal wear. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm excited to do the float and I'll see you on the flip side. That was so good. I can't even describe it. When you get out, you just feel totally relaxed. There's just like this feeling, euphoric feeling. So amazing. And I come out into this alleyway. It's got really cool, cool drawings. I used to be a graffiti artist, not illegally, but uh, I've always been a big fan of, of street art. So I have some affinity for rhinos. And this area of the city is called the Rhino District, so there's 
some pretty cool pictures of rhinos. Oh my goodness, for the Shake Shack. Never eaten at the Shake Shack. And just so happens, I'm looking for a place to eat. Can I try it? What's, what's the most popular one here? I got my little chocolate, which I will enjoy after Shake Shack. All right, so here's the first bite of Shake Shack. That's really good. You can tell it's quality. They say it's gourmet meat, gourmet bun, everything fresh. That was definitely an enjoyable burger. These people are laughing at me as I'm filming myself. That's the one thing about a vlog. It looks funny when you're in public and you're talking to a camera, but that's okay. Anyways, back to the shake. It's delicious. I'm gonna try the fries. I got the cheese fries. Very, very delicious. It's a great win. Highly recommend the Shake Shack. But I'm gonna try the chocolate. So it's milk filled. It has like a hard chocolate cover. Not that great. Not my favorite chocolate ever. Definitely not worth three bucks. Finished the Shake Shack. Did a little more goal setting, thinking about the skills I need to reach my goals. Now I'm getting in the car, man. My, my personal counsel is done. I'm going back to the family. Hopefully I can catch my kids awake and sing them a bedtime song. Hope you learned something. Hope it was interesting. Uh, until next time, this is Ben, signing out.